We're back at 809 with what could have been a tragic situation that actually turned into a happy ending for a middle school student. NBC's Lilia Luciano has details on this. Lilia, good morning. Good morning to you, Matt. What happened to 12-year-old Kylie Shea isn't something most parents would think was even possible. Walking the halls of her school, she suddenly collapsed. And without the quick thinking of two teachers and a life-saving device, she might not be here today. Until September 26, Kylie Shea seemed to be a perfectly healthy 7th grader. But as she walked the halls of Moss Middle School in a Dallas suburb, she suddenly felt short of breath. I sat down and I like fell over and then I don't remember anything from that. Kylie collapsed to the ground and passed out as seen on this surveillance footage. Her frightened classmates alerted gym teacher Kristen Goodgen who rushed to find Kylie wasn't breathing and was turning blue. The 12 year old's heart had stopped. Right away, I knew I had to get help. Fellow gym teacher Brent Reese arrived and immediately started CPR. Goodgen rushed to grab an automatic external defibrillator, a device used in dire medical emergencies to jumpstart the heart. In the video, both teachers are seen desperately trying to save young Kylie. It's amazing, the, the panic and you see the situation, it's an emergency. With the help of the defibrillator, the teacher stabilized Kylie until a first responder team arrived. She was then airlifted to Children's Medical Center. If it wasn't for this machine and for what they did, our daughter still may be with her today, but she wouldn't be the Kylie we know. Doctors determined Kylie had an undetected heart condition and implanted her with a pacemaker. They say her survival is nothing short of a miracle. Survival from somebody who collapses outside the hospital for a child is around 3%. Not very many. But in Kylie's case, two heroic teachers and a machine required in Texas public schools made all the difference. Well, they had a hand in a miracle, and um, I, it's just thank you. I just want to say something simple, like thank you. Doctors say arrhythmias made Kylie's heart stop, but they're still uncertain what caused them. Her parents say if the teachers had taken another 30 seconds to come to her rescue, their daughter would not have made it. Matt. All right, Lilia Luciano. Lilia, thank you very much. Kylie Shea is here along with her parents, Cheryl and Mike, and Kylie's brother Joel joins us as well. And I think we should call them the heroes in this story, Brent Reese and Kristen Goodgen. Nice to see you both. Uh, how are you feeling, first of all? Great. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to, to take too much notice of it, but you've got a scar here where they had this pacemaker put in, what, about a week ago? Yes. So you're sore still? Are you feeling okay? I'm feeling great. Had you ever had anything like this happen to you before, Kylie? Any other time where you got dizzy or short of breath? Never. So this was out of the blue? Yes. And you say you remember kind of having a hard time breathing and the next thing, the lights went out. And you don't remember anything after that until when? The helicopter ride. You, were, you woke up in the helicopter ride. Mm -hmm. And by that time, these two had already done what they did so well. Before I talk to them, mom and dad, I mean, you look at this videotape that we're watching right now. You weren't there. You were away at home or at work. And, and this is happening to your daughter. How does it make you feel? Uh, it's, it's just so, it was such a shock because she had never had any problems before, had been cleared with a physical to take her strength and conditioning class. And we don't have any family history. But that she fell under the care of these people so quickly is just extraordinary. So, so Kristen, you're the first one who comes after, after yes. Kylie passed out. And by the way, trained in CPR, right? Yes, sir. How important is that? <laughs> oh, extremely important. Um, we get trained every two years, and that literally is what we feel back on. You know, it kept us calm. We had something to go back on uh, to know what to do. But you realized pretty quickly this wasn't just a case of a child passing out. Right away. Right away. Um, as soon as I walked up, she was having a little bit of convulsion, and within five to ten seconds, she was out. And she started to turn blue. Yes. She wasn't getting oxygen. Brent, by the time you got there, you also trained in CPR. Yes, sir. Um, did the training just kick in? It did. Uh, you know, when, you, when I saw Kylie on the floor, um, just a million things are going through your head and you just kind of go into shell shock and you just kind of reboot uh, and we went back to the training. But it's not the same as working with that little Rasasa Annie doll or whatever. This uh -huh. is a real person. Mm -hmm. You've got to start, your, your heartbeat must have been going a mile a minute. Absolutely. Uh, every time uh, you, I would do an uh, evaluation, I wasn't sure I was wanting to hear. 
And then you get out, you got that AED, the Automatic External Defibrillator, mm -hmm. and that thing, once you get it on, it kind of walks you through and talks you through the procedure, right? Yes, it does. Um, it talked us through it, and one of the craziest things is it told us to shock, and we both looked at each other in shock, like, is this really what we need to do right now. Because it was evaluating based mm -hmm. on the signals it was getting from Kylie or not getting. Yes. It was a violet. It was evaluating her situation. Right. Mm -hmm. And so you got nervous when you applied that first shock that if her heart was actually beating, you could kill her. Absolutely. And that's in the video. I reach out to touch the button and I pull back just a little bit thinking those exact thoughts. How many times did you have to shock her? Twice. And on the second time, did you notice immediate improvement? Or Definitely. The responders came also, the first responders arrived at about that time? Mm -hmm. Around the same time they came. Um, after the second shock, she started groaning, and we're still, you know, thinking, you know, did we do this right? And it worked. So. Mom and Dad in Texas, they're required to have these yes. devices, right, in yes. a school. What do you want to say about that? I think it should be a nationwide mandate. I think every state should have should be required to have these in schools and public places. And Dad, what about a nationwide requirement to have Kristen and Brent in every school across the country I as well? Agreed. They're, they're stuck with us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank We're you. family, yeah. yes. I can imagine. You live through something like this, you get very close. Kylie, we are so happy that you're okay. All right, good luck to you. And Joel, good to have you. You must be awfully thrilled to have your sister around. Well, it's great to have you all here. Thank you so much. Thank you.